Hello, hello. Oh, it's not showing. Happy Saturday. Oh, hi, Lindo. Congrats on getting first. All right, there we go. <laughs> yes, congratulations. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to put the audio, desktop audio on quite yet because it plays like an idol song. Avery, hi! Congrats on turning in your midterm! I hope you get a good score on that. I'm doing good, Lindo. I went out on a walk today. And it was... it was nice. They are cute. You're gonna be lurking for a bit. Okay, Ioni. Oh yeah, no problem. I haven't watched Free Rin yet. So... I haven't been able to watch anything. <laughs> we watch like, YouTube videos. Yeah. Congratulations on turning in your work, yeah. Yep, I sure did. I slept for 14 hours, thank you. Let's see, am I missing anything? Okay. Alright, well we're gonna start playing with, uh... Eldritch Idol. So let me put on that desktop audio. I hope it's not copyrighted, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, let me know if the audio is a bit loud. I can adjust it. Oh my gosh, it's loud! Hold on, I'm, I'm bringing it down a smidgen. Am I gonna get copyright strike? <laughs> Oh, Lena's here! Hi, Lena! Alright, so just in case you don't know what the game's about, you're a idol manager for Cuckoo, who is a Cthulhu... idol, kind of? That's why it's called Eldritch Idol. So yes. Alright, I think that's, that's all I know, so I'm not gonna explain anymore. <laughs> Wow! Thank you so much, everybody, for coming here to show your appreciation to a little old one like me. I really couldn't be happier that you've taken your time out of your oh-so-busy schedules to pay me pit tribute. Hehe. <laughs> You're all amazing! Woo! You rock, Cuckoo! We all adore you! Oh my gosh, sorry! Thank you for resub! Two months, yay! Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. I also hope you're doing well, sorry. We all adore you! You're the real amazing one here! <laughs> am I Cuckoo? <laughs> well, of course I am. That should go without saying. I am an idol after all. I exist here, upon the stage to be worshipped. The rest of you, meanwhile, are nothing more than lowly worshippers. <laughs> Individually, you are weak. You can never hope to compare to me. <laughs> Is this, am I still cuckoo? <laughs> but if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be standing here right now. It's because of your continued love and support that I've been able to become so popular. Now, keep on praising me, or else. <laughs> Never mind, you're nicer than her. Think only of your beloved Cuckoo, who sings and dances for your sakes. And I'll think of you too. Yeah, that's a Cthulhu thing. She's a Cthulhu idol, that's why her name's Cuckoo. Dedicate yourself to me. 
And you'll never have to be alone again! I don't know, this feels like a cult now. Yes! Please love us more, Cuckoo! Please insult us more, Cuckoo! We're nothing compared to you! <laughs> I don't even know how to say that! Yeah, yeah! Cthulhu, Cthulhu, Batakan! Can we fry the demon octopus? No! I'm gonna. She, I'm her manager! Ugh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I, I wish I remember what the A up to like the little two dots meant. Like, yeah! Yeah! Kazulu! Patagon! <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm not gonna say it again. I'm, I can't say it well anyway. Ah, how long has it been since I last heard those chants? They're like music to my ears. I'm so glad that you're all so accommodating. But I couldn't have achieved so much success without the help of my producer. Please, step onto the stage and accept your dues. You deserve just as much praise as I do for tonight's astounding concert. Her producer? <gasps> That's me! I need to introduce myself to her fans. Alright. I am... I don't know, which one I like better? Like the twin buns? Or short hair? Mm, I'm kind of feeling short hair right now. I am... Leah... Ooh! Leah... Sunspout. Okay... And they them. Here we are! This is Leah, the most- the wonderful person who has helped me so much. I love my producer a lot. They're the best producer an Eldritch Idol could ask for! Huh, shucks. If she keeps talking like that, she'll make me blush. Producer! Producer! I don't remember which voice I gave to what. <laughs> producer! Yeah, that's me! I'm the producer! Sunspout? Hey, Sunspout. Earth to Sunspout. Step out of it! We have business to discuss here. Wah! Ah, jeez. I was totally spacing out there. I wasn't asleep, was I? I keep nodding off lately. Uh-oh, this is too real. <laughs> Uh-oh, that's too real. But what can you expect from when I'm sitting in a nice office like this? Besides, it's not my fault if I get tired in a nice office like this. Yeah, exactly! This couch is so soft, it's way nicer than anything back in my apartment. Witnessing Master Cthulhu leads to you having to roll for sanity. Usually you end up losing. Yeah. Wait, why am I blushing? What's happening? Why am I- Oh, it's gone. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, wait, what? Hell, I don't even have a couch in my apartment. Oh my gosh, big mood. I mean, I like it right now, but back then. Is this how the upper crust live? It sure must be nice, being this bougie. Sunspout! Your eyes are open, but your brain doesn't seem to be functioning. <laughs> the upper crust. crust. Don't season cuckoo! Are you listening to me? But what? Uh, um... Oh, hello! Who's this? Crap, I was spacing out again. I've gotta learn to stop doing that around Karen. Uh-oh, Karen! The upper crust as opposed to the lower crust on the bread. Yeah, you know, the, the bread that's on top versus the one on the bottom of the loaf. Yeah, I am no fun. I'm, a, I'm business now. I'm a business person. I'm a producer. We might have been friends since high school, but she owns a whole company now. She's kind of a big deal, and she's my boss. What should I say to her? <laughs> I'm sorry, mommy! 
What matters is the middle of the sandwich, not the bread. I guess. I mean, bread kind of does matter. I'm sorry, Miss Aoyagi. I'm sorry, Karen. I'm sorry, Big Sis. I'm sorry, Wipey. You call mommy. <laughs> don't call me that. You know I don't like it. Well, we that's so this has happened before. <laughs> it makes you uncomfortable. And I appreciate it if you could take this seriously. I have an important matter I want to discuss with you. But... Can't you guess? Well, um... Huh... This should be obvious, but I suppose I'll have to spell it out for you. You've never been the brightest bulb in the box. Box? I don't know why I said it weird. You're not wrong there! Haha! <laughs> My grades back at school were abysmal. Tell me something I don't know. I'm surprised you graduated at all. I wouldn't have if it wasn't for you. Your demonic coaching sessions really helped out. <laughs> what if Karen was Ioni? <laughs> I could see this. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Lindo beat you to the punch. Does that mean I just call Ioni mommy? <laughs> Even if I had to pull a bunch of all-nighters and I drank so many energy drinks, I almost burnt a hole through my stomach. Karen is the big softie at heart. When I came to my academics, she was merciless. No! I only stop! Ah, oh, stop! Oh, they don't need to know that! Oh. <laughs> they don't need to know that! <laughs> I totally forgot everything you taught me, though. Uh-oh, it's too real! Please, don't sound so proud about that. Huh, she's massaging her temples. She does that a lot when she talks to me. I wonder why. <laughs> I was, yes, I was. Having some anxiety issues. <laughs> now, Sunspout, let me level up you. You've stuck by me through thick and thin, and I appreciate it. Really, I do. You've always been there for me ever since I was a child, and people used to tease me. You were the best friend I could have hoped for. But that was a long time ago. Things have changed. We aren't children anymore. You're an employee at my company. You're a producer. Or at least that is what you're supposed to be. You said that the girls of Cherry Bomb would be a huge success, but look what happened. Their debut album couldn't even break into the top 100, let alone the top 10. The results were quite frankly disappointing, especially after we poured so much money into them. I don't want to come down too harshly on you, but I really can't excuse this. You've been working up Aoyagi Productions for almost three years, but you've not had a single success. You have had plenty of failures though. Uh oh! Every single idol group you've tried to manage has ended in disaster. That isn't good for my business's bottom line, and neither is it good for my credibility. Now let me just check in chat really quick. So Lindo asked for an explanation. I I only says you can take up two or three scoops of powder. I was not taking six scoops. I was taking three scoops. No, I would actually have died. <laughs> I only said I only am slandering. No, I, I wasn't diluting it. It was just three cups of my little gamer drink bottle uh, and three scoops. Like, I take two scoops now and dilute it in three cups. Yeah. Because I was like, ooh, gamer drink, woohoo. And then I didn't realize it was causing me to have extremely extreme anxiety. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> I 
Ioni's telling me I'm a failure. <laughs> I hate to do this to you, Sunspout, but this latest incident has been the final straw. I might have been giving you the preferential treatment in the past, owing to our history together. But all things have come to an end. Okay, think that's fair. Thank you, Ioni. Wait, what? That can't be right. She isn't going to fire me, is she? Karen threatened me with it a bunch of times in the past, but she never actually gone through with it. She's way too kind. Are we just taking advantage of her? Surely she can't be serious. <laughs> Thank you, Ailey. I appreciate that. I founded this company because I wanted to produce idols. It's always been my dream to take girls from impoverished backgrounds and give them a chance to shine. I want to give these girls the confidence I never had. But I can't accomplish my dream when the idols you manage continue to fall short of their potential. I know that you're trying, but... No, this is all moving way too quickly. I need to tr try and talk her around. I want her to give me another chance. Uh, I'll sincerely apologize for being a screw up. I understand where you're coming from, Karen, and I really do apologize. I know that I've dropped the ball recently, and for that, I have nobody to blame but myself. I'm not surprised that you want to you want to get rid of me. But would you at least try to give me one more chance? Sunspout. Your model's hair had similar bangs. Uh-oh. <laughs> I do want to trust you. Really, I do. But a lot of money is on the line here. My reputation alongside it. I've given you chances already and have yet to receive any results. Yeah, I've been working here for like, what, three years is what they said? Three years and I haven't had a single success? Jeez. How can you reassure me that it will be different this time? Um... I'm gonna start working overtime and sleeping in the office. I think, uh, the bangs were pretty similar. I mean, the way that Avery drew it is the way that it was similar to how I drew it. I didn't do, like, a big ol' swoopy like that. You could do that, I suppose. But I wouldn't want you to push yourself so hard. I'd feel guilty. And, though a lot of workers do sleep in their offices during crunch hours, I think there's something rather unethical about it. I have no desire to make you miserable, so... I'm sorry, Sunspout. <gasps> but I'm going to have to let you go! No! No! <laughs> I'm... I'm unemployed! Wow, this sucks. I still can't believe that Karen fired me. I thought we were best friends. Whatever happened to that? Is money more important to her than our relationship? The old Karen would have never done this. I guess she's been leading Aoyagi Productions for too long. You just got called? Well, why are you saying sorry? It's fine. If you have to go take the call. It's crazy to think she launched the company five years ago. After graduating from university, she was floundering around for a while, barely treading water, until she had a big break. Now, in under a year, she's become a massive deal. Oh, Yagi Productions has some pretty serious talent signed up him now. I guess that's why Karen's being so conservative. She has a lot of shareholders breathing down her neck, so she can't make any risky moves. I shouldn't take this out on Karen. Well, yeah, you're the one who's not doing anything, me. <laughs> you're not doing anything, right? Me. No, not that. Oh. About her relationship. And my I knew it. I knew I never should have started a business relationship with you. We're over. 
I shouldn't take this out on Karen. In the end, her hands were tied. And I... What kind of word? Can't have... Yes, I know... I know what the gr grammar I can't have made. No, it still doesn't make... It doesn't sound right still. I couldn't have made. Why oh, can't have? <laughs> I've never seen it like that. Okay, anyways. Alright. I couldn't have made things easier for her. I guess my ideas for debuting a debuting idol group were a bit out there. If I want to be a proper producer, I should go with some more normal concepts. Yeah, I understand what I'm reading, but... <laughs> Asking the girls of Cherry Bomb to paint themselves red was probably a step too far. Leah! And then there was the kaiju-themed girl group. I... I think that kaiju are pretty cool, but I guess not everyone agrees. No! It's real? Oh no. Okay. How to step start stepping away from monsters? It's an uncommon contraction. Thank you! Former English major. <laughs> I need to produce a girl who's sweet, demure, demure, and all around adorable. I need to look for a talent, like... La 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 la... <laughs> What's the most attitude? Like... La 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 la... <laughs> oh? That voice! Literature English major coming through. What has ever sh gotten me in life? It's so beautiful. It sounds so clear, just like a running river. I would say I've never heard anything like it before, but... <laughs> just making it sound bad on purpose now. That's not true. It sounds familiar. Where did I hear it? It couldn't be... <laughs> running river. Whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> so clear. Wow! Sounds like a running river indeed. <gasps> That's it! That's the girl from my dream! I knew I heard that voice somewhere. But what is she doing on the beach at this hour? Um, hello? Oh, hello there! I was wondering when our paths would cross. Be sure to keep me waiting! You were waiting for me? Yes, I reached out to you earlier when you were asleep. I was trying to tell you to look for me, but I guess you must have been busy. You're here now, though, so everything's alright. I know Cthulhu isn't real. She can't hurt you. Ah! Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cthulhu, but you can call me Cuckoo. I'm a great old one, not to be confused with an elder god. They're two different things! And I come from the underwater, underwater city of Reli... Yeah. <laughs> I was worshipped as a deity by a bunch of cults back in the day. As a deep ones, an amigo used to pay me tribute too, hee <laughs> hee. Everybody knew that I was the undisputed ruler of the Darkest Deaths. The great Cthulhu who came from the cosmos and, ha and who had lived for eons half dead and dreaming. But that was a long time ago! I've been asleep for centuries, and faith in me has been waning lately. Have you ever heard of me before? Ah, uh, the name rings a bell. Did you know that all these words have no English pronunciation because they're an alien language? Ah, that makes sense. That makes sense. But you're not certain that you recall it? Um, I think there was an RPG about you. The only th I've only know like like Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> that's the only game I know. But that's about as much as I know. Oh, that's the RPG. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's even worse than I thought. How can people be so ignorant? I can't let myself become obsolete. 
I might be several millennia old, but there's still life in me yet. I'm not a has-been, Pastor. So there. Pastor? There's also a visual novel where you can date Cthulhu, though. Oh. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking about some family stuff. It doesn't need to concern you. What should concern you, though, is my idea. I actually reached out to you because I want to make you a proposition. I don't know very much about the human world, but I do know that idols are very popular. <laughs> How dare she say Hastra is a has-been? How dare you say that about the king in yellow? I don't know this one. <laughs> Humans have always appreciated a good figurehead or two that they can revere. In the past, these figureheads came in the form of ancient arcane gods. But now, people would much rather worship at the altars of idols. You girls are where it's at! We're in the 21st century now, baby! And fear can get you only so far! Youngsters of today all want pigtails, short skirts, big bright smiles, and sweet saccharine voices all full of affection. I'm having fun here. <laughs> I prefer older women myself. Heck yeah, cute girls are where it's at. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm an older woman kind of, kind of person. Well, I'm very sorry, but nobody asked for your opinion. Did they? Okay. <laughs> I didn't ask you, Ioni. <laughs> but off. Now shut up and let me finish my introduction. <laughs> you technically also count as an older woman. This is true. Ahem. When I learned what idols were, I decided that this was it. This is my true calling. That's why I've come all the way here to Japan to begin my journey. I'm going to completely remake myself. I'm not Kabubu, the great old one anymore. I'm Cuckoo, the young, optimistic, good-natured idol. And I'm gonna make you all enslaved. Wait, what? I'm a cute young girl with big dreams who's always thinking about the future. I'm going to take the world by storm until the whole world has no choice but to bow to my superiority. Then I'll rub my victory into Hester's stupid smug face. How do you like them apples, huh? You won't be making fun of me when I've successfully conquered the whole world. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I don't think I've met anybody this passionate about being an idol before. She reminds me of me in my youth, when I was still optimistic. Which is to say, she reminds me of me before Karen fired me five minutes ago. Wait a second, so it's been five minutes and we headed out all the way to the beach? I know that you're a producer and I know that you have idols. Would you mind helping me accomplish my goal? If we work together, I'm sure we'll be able to make miracles happen. What do you think? Hmm... Her backstory is a bit convoluted, but I'll give her some spice. It should help her stand out, if nothing else, amongst the sea of wannabe idols out there. Also, the King in Yellow is a play that's connected to Hester. Oh! So she's an evil god who wants to take over the world, huh? Well, I'm gonna help her! Heck the world! That sounds like fun! Heck them! I would like to manage another idol. But maybe this is too soon after everything that happened with Karen. I want to screw up again. Well, how can you screw up now? What should I say? I think we can work something out. Yeah, that should be good. I don't want to seem too desperate after all. This should be an appropriate level of, th of enthusiasm. So I'm like a Cthulhu, there's something in the arts that could be used. Oh. I thought you might say that, hee <laughs> hee. Thank you very much for giving me a chance, producer. 
Let's make every second count. If we stick together, I'm sure we can do anything. Unlike Cuckoo, who looks like a Medusa in this case. That's what I was thinking. I was like getting a little confused. I was like, wait, are we? Wait, is my timer wrong? Oh, my time is wrong. My stream timer is two minutes off. Um, one second. Okay. Well, whatever. It's gonna be off by. S I, I know that sometimes my computer gets slightly like a minute or two off. So I have to like resync it. No idea why it does that. My time is off! Oh! Alright, everyone, my. <laughs> the time of my stream is two minutes off, that's all. I put it there so whenever I look down, I can remember what time it is and make sure I don't like go into Ioni stream time. <laughs> Mama Avery probably knows more. Yes, I bet. Here we are, home sweet home. For the foreseeable future, this will be our base of operations. Actually, can I refresh the clock? Maybe that would help. Properties. Oh no, it fixed itself. Okay, I'm sorry to be distracted by the clock. <laughs> okay, did I read this already? For the foreseeable future, this will be our base of operations. So, what do you think? It's pretty fancy, isn't it? Well... Your place is a little smaller than I expected. But I suppose my body is much smaller than it usually is, so I don't need as much space. This form is convenient and compact, so it all works out. Besides, the more depressing my origins, the more impressive it will be when I make my inevitable rise to the top. My fans will love me more if they see that I've had to struggle, just like them. I'll make me more relatable. Yes, that's exactly right. Though, I wish you wouldn't call my apartment depressing. I've worked hard to make it homey. Producer, I'm known as the Great Dreamer and the Sleeper of Rilea. So I don't mean to bur burst your bu bubble, but your apartment is miserable. There are stains on the walls and stains on the floor, and... Tuku wash Oshi no ko. <laughs> Wait, I need to take a sip of water. One second. Thank you. <laughs> I'll take another sip of water and I'll fix my posture. Thank you for that, Pat. Ooh, okay. And uh, is that a cockroach? Uh, maybe. I've seen a few of them scuttling around. Ew. I wonder if I should start charging them. <laughs> well, I think all humans are pitiful as a matter of course, but you're even sorrier than most. Karen's told me the same thing. I feel like Karen wasn't really paying us much for being a producer. I mean, we were a failure producer, but still, <laughs> but still, Karen, she's my boss. Or, was, my boss, rather. She wound up firing me earlier. <sighs> I see. I guess that explains why you agreed to be my producer so readily. Sorry, but you gotta provide fruits before you make the big butts. That's true. What was your relationship with Karen like? Uh, we were just co-workers. I thought we were friends. Oh, I love her a lot. Um... Uh... 
I thought we were friends, but... I can imagine it must be painful. Yes, being betrayed like that. I've always thought of humans as pitiful creatures. But you're Irvi! <laughs> you just told me this! You are even more pitiful than most. I almost feel sorry for you. But please, do not let your sorrow get in the way of my debut. If you spend too much time mourning over your failed relationship, I'll be very angry. <laughs> Roger that. I hear you loud and clear. Good. I must say, I had hoped my career would get off to a more auspicious start. But beggars can't be choosers. I'm going to make do with what I have, but I won't tolerate any cockroaches near my sleeping quarters. What? Why not? Because they're disgusting and unsanitary. Like it matters. Aren't you supposed to be an old one? Cockroaches shouldn't be any match for you. They aren't a match for me. I could smush your insectoid friends of ease, but I am an adorable idol, you know? I have done some research, and I know for a fact that cute girls such as myself are united on one common belief, and one alone. It's cute when fictional boys kiss? No! Bugs are disgusting. They're despicable. They have to be destroyed. Let's see. Cockroaches are more disgusted by us than we are of them. And they have a right to. They're more powerful than us. How do you know cockroaches are more disgusted by humans? What? Do you speak cockroach, Ioni? <laughs> Can you tank a nu nuclear blast? No, I cannot. I'm a soft and squishy wolf dog maid. Though, I am curious. What's this about boys kissing? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking aloud. I know this place isn't much to look at, but there should be enough room for the two of us. We should be able to make this work. Well, I would hope so. I wouldn't be able to rub my accomplishments in Hester's face if I'm not able to accomplish anything. Now, I've done my research, and I know every idol needs to work on three core skills if they want to succeed in this industry. If you pay attention in biology class, they actually just run away from us. They clean themselves if we touch them. Ah. Huh. No, I, they didn't teach us that in a biology class. I need to hone my singing skills, my dancing skills, and my charm. You also need to ensure that we have a good relationship. Else, I might begin to lose, lose my faith in you. Oh, okay. Why, Oni? You just lying now? You just lying on my stream? An idol's bond of her producer is most important, so don't let my affection get too low. Otherwise, I'll call this whole venture off. You also need to keep an eye on how stressed I am. I might be a cute, sweet, entirely normal teenage girl, but who's to say what I might do if my mood sinks? It could mean the end of your sad little life, producer, and the lives of everybody else within a 50-mile radius. I don't want to make waves if I can help it. So, please take care when you're organizing my schedule. I'm scared. She's gonna kill me. <laughs> Needy streamer overdose too. Uh, I like them very much. I'd like very much to avoid a bad ending. Oh, and if you want to check my stats, you should check the star icon in the upper right hand corner of the screen. That should be... That should tell you everything you need to know. Then, if you want to hide my stats, you can click the star icon to close the screen again. It's pretty convenient. I have no idea what she means by that, but she said so much weird stuff already. I guess I'll just play along with her for now. You should also keep in mind that my time is precious. Also, hi, Kuro. Hope you're doing well. Uh... 
I might be a great old one who's lived for longer than you, than you can comprehend. But that doesn't mean I like pursuing pointless ventures. If I don't see any results in the next two weeks, I'll give up on everything. Two weeks? That seems pretty hasty. Most idols train for at least two years before they debut. But it's actually real. Ah, that's why I don't like games that like mess up your computer. Like they don't actually mess up it, but it makes it feel like it. Kind of like how Undertale did. Ooh, that was scary. I couldn't play a game even. <laughs> uh, thank you for the metal pipe. It woke me up. Most idols are puny humans. They have no choice but to train to re reach my exalted heights. But I am an old one. People used to worship me as a god. If certain people believe that the world is shaped in seven days, then it should take me the same amount of time to become a top idol. Actually, has a random chance of crashing your game? No! No! You're back in to clean the dishes and take out the trash. Uh, you didn't miss anything really, Lundo. We just got fired. <laughs> we just got fired and then we met Cuckoo by the beach. And now we're her producer. If you get her mental darkness up, she'll cause the game to crash. 10% chance? Yeesh! Oh my gosh. I am aware, however, that I will be working with you on this venture. I need to take your shortcomings into consideration. So, I'll give you double the amount of time to work with. Isn't that generous of me? Uh, in a sense, I guess? I only had to let you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get this bit out of here! Yeah! <laughs> oh no, not the trauma! Either why? Uh, man! I'm talking too much. <laughs> One second, another water! Man, she sure does have some lofty expectations. This will be a tricky assignment, especially for a failure of a producer like me. But she's taking this so seriously. I don't want to let- ah! Okay, I'll take another sip. She's taking this so seriously, I don't want to let her down. I don't know how much I can accomplish in two weeks, but... I'll do my best to manage you, and turn you into a well-rounded idol. Ah, I can imagine. It's like one of those games I can't play. <laughs> one, day, one day I'm gonna play Omori. But yeah, I can imagine. I'm not gonna let you down, Cuckoo. I promise. Very nice. I like your enthusiasm. But verbal agreements can be broken much too easily. Do you have any other way to pledge your loyalty to me, producer? Uh... <laughs> pledge your loyalty of a kiss? No. Grovel at her feet. Anxiety attack for five in-game gate days? Oh no. Yee! Um, what in Kathana's name are you doing? I'm showing you how serious I am by this, about this arrangement. By rubbing my head on the floor at your feet, of course. I can't think of any better way to pledge my allegiance to you. And it doesn't hurt that your feet are so cute, either. Me? Are you okay? I'm wearing socks, you creep. Get up! You're going to give me your forehead a rash. If you keep rubbing on the tatami like that. It's the one where she did the thing that's untwitchable? Uh-oh. I'm not a foot enthusiast! Stop that! Ah ha ha ha. Good point. I'm 
correctly. He might be a pathetic, sniveling worm of a human, but I had hoped he would have a bit more self-respect than this. Oh no! Evidently, I've been hoping for too much. Oh no! Now that I think it's time for bed, I've read that getting 8 hours worth of sleep is important, if one wishes to maintain their good looks. Oh, but first, I need something to sleep in. I can't wear this outfit all the time, so... Do you have anything I can borrow, producer? Wah! A girl this cute wants to wear my clothes? I don't think any of my outfits are good enough for her, though. She's too good for my old cast-offs. No, she said she was in her socks. Yeah, on the tatami. The idea, or the thought of seeing her in one of my shirts, though. Leah, get a hold of yourself! Stop that! Bunk! <laughs> Producer? That's not a bad idea. Producer? Ah, I can't believe my luck. I'm so fortunate meeting a cutie like her. Today was shaping up to be terrible, but this night's more than redeemed it. Tatami? What is Tatami made of again? It's like... It's like dried... Tatami... It's made of Japanese rush grass. Inside is a baked, dried rice straw filled for strength. That's all I know. I don't know anything. <laughs> I'm going to see Cuckoo wearing my cast off. I'm so happy. I feel like I could die. In fact, I am getting pretty lightheaded. I wonder why. Hey, producer! My knowledge of humans is admittedly limited, but... Are you supposed to bleed from your nose like that? My nose is like that. Uh-oh. We're a creep! No, We're a creep! Hmm. Yeah. Hehe. <laughs> Fast asleep already, are you? No, me <laughs> look at his brain damage. I guess so. I guess it must make sense. Why am I just adding words now? <laughs> Why am I adding words? You must be tired burning through all your energy like that. Are you Hongshu or me, me, me? I think I'm a Hongshu. Who are you? I can tell that you've been working really hard. But don't worry, you aren't alone. I'm going to do my very best to make your dream come true. Nobody loves idols as much as I do. Alright, everyone. Alright, we're finally training. We're, we're finally training. This is our training arc. Hello. Everyone, put your shoes on. We're getting ready. We're training. It's another brand new morning. Okay, I'm gonna save here. I think she should go jogging. What the heck, what does busk mean? Uh, we're training to become an idol. What does busk mean? <laughs> I've never heard this word before. Busk. Meaning. Perform music. Oh! Perform music or other entertainment in the street or another public place for monetary donations. Okay. Oh, well, I only just wrote it for me while I looked it up. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have her jog, busk, and then in the evening, she can surf the net. What do you guys think? You think you should jog, dance, and kar karaoke? Well, I'm the one playing the game! <laughs> Let's see. No. <laughs> 
I know, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I just wanted to see what the, the people's opinion was. Alright, we need to practice singing, dancing, charm. And we can't let her stress get too high. So her stress is dirty, so I think we could do karaoke. So that's singing. I think this is for charm. No, dancing. What's jogging do? Maybe you hand out flyers? Maybe jogging. Jogging, dancing, go to karaoke. Okay, well we're, we're going with Ioni's plan, okay? Alright, here we go. You don't want to. Ugh, I don't believe this. Are you seriously going to make me run outside this early in the morning? It's so hot. What do you mean it's so hot? It's in the morning. That's right. I'm sorry, Cuckoo. But you said yourself you wanted to become a number one idol. There's no gain without any pain. Which is to say, if you want to become halfway decent dancer, you need to raise your stamina. I know this is stressful, but please, believe in me. I'm a bleeding heart, so I didn't push the idols I managed in the past. I wasn't hard enough on them, and they stagnated. You don't want to stagnate, do you, Cuckoo? Stagnate? Okay, fine, Ioni. I know what you're saying, but I don't want to get her too stressed. Well, of course not. I've gotta... <sighs> become the very best. I need to pr prove to Haster that I'm worth taking seriously. I'll claw my way to the top of idolhood if it's the last thing I do. That's the spirit. Believe in yourself. Then you can do anything. Will I be able... <sighs> to put on some out concerts at the Bud Budokan? Of course. And will I be able to gather a legion of mindless fans who will be willing... <sighs> Who sacrificed their souls to me? That's what being an idol is all about. And will I be into some more CDs? And a certain American singer whose name starts with a T and ends up Taylor Swift? Well, um, you might be aiming just a little too high there. Yeah, I thought so. I might be an old one, but that creature is something else. She must have made a contract with an outer god from the ultimate void. There's simply no way one human should have that much power. Simply not. <sighs> Possible. Not the Budokai, Tenkaichi. The Budokan. Well, Lindo, you thought wrong. But I'll catch up eventually. You'll mark my words. I'm not going to give in. That's the spirit, and don't worry. I'll be cheering for you every step away. Yes, that's right. Oh my gosh, does every activity get a, a, a dialogue like this? With you as my cheerleader, producer, there's nothing I can't do. Doing four laps across the beach is a piece of cake. Yes, that's the spirit. Break a leg. Um... But not literally. Otherwise, she'll never be able to catch up to Miss Swift. Yeah, Lindo, you have been deceived. Afternoon. Alright, Cuckoo, listen up. You're serious about being an idol, right? That's right. Then you'll need to put some serious effort into practicing your dance steps. I know vigorous workouts like this can be stressful. I like how they're really telling me like, this is stressful, okay? But this is an important part of any idol's training regimen. We can't afford to skip out on this. Fortunately, my apartment is kind of small and I don't have access to a studio. Not after Karen fired me, at least. So, if you want to practice, we'll have to do it outside. The beach is nice and open and there aren't any rules about dancing outside, so it should be fine if you want to go through your stuff here. You probably don't need a license to dance in public, so you probably won't be arrested. That'll be fine. 
Probably, is it? I would hardly call that reassuring. But I do need to work on my dancing, and I can't exactly do it in your teeny tiny apartment. When I tried, I bumped my elbow on your dresser, and then I tripped over and fell or tripped and fell over the table. Yeah, that's definitely a thing that happened. There was such a loud crash. I was afraid she'd fall straight into the floor. I'm surprised none of the neighbors complained about it. Miss Uchiyama's got them on my case for less. Maybe she was out earlier. I hope she was out earlier. There are a lot of things I wish to explore in the domain of you humans, but the hospital isn't one such place. It sounds rather depressing. And I don't like needles. Oh, are you afraid of them, Cuckoo? Well, of course not. I'm an old one. I don't get afraid. Fear is a base human emotion which does not apply to the likes of me. But I have bad experiences of sharp pointy objects. That sounds scary. Did something happen? Almost a century ago, I was hit by a harpoon. It wasn't very much fun. I'd like to avoid anything like that happening ever again. Our a harpoon. Her backstory really is complicated. I have a lot of questions. If I start asking, I'm afraid we'll be here all day. That sounds rough, but you'll be harpooned while I'm around. I promise. Well, I would hope not. It'd be pretty strange if someone threw a harpoon at me now that I'm on dry land. Only a monster would try and target a cute girl like me. Now? The beach isn't too crowded today, so I guess I'll start practicing my footwork. Keep your eyes on me, producer. I'm going to show you what I'm really made of. You don't ask an immortal being, an eldritch god, about being getting harpooned. You're right. Hey, producer. What's this place? Why did you bring me here? You said you were going to take me to a place where I can sing as much as I want. But I can't say I understand your logic. This place just looks like a tiny box to me. Will I really be able to sing here? Of course you will. You'll get to sing lots and lots here. That's the point of this place. It is? Wee! I'm French! <laughs> it seems like there's a lot you don't know. So, allow me to explain. This is a karaoke parlor. It's a building that exists so people can sing. The booth we're standing in is soundproof, so you don't need to worry about bothering anybody. You can order food and drinks, and best of all, it's open long into the night, so you can relax here for as long as you want. I know you've been desperate to sing, but Miss Uchiyama in the room opposite was getting a bit frustrated with all the noise. I'm glad you're so dedicated. But I thought our neighbors might appreciate it if we spared them the late night serenading. Okay, so karaoke is relaxing and it improves singing. Oh yes, that woman. It was awfully rude of her to complain that I was making too much noise. I was not simply making noise. I was blessing her lowly mortal ears with my effervescent song. Hire me as a producer? Well, why, why would you want to be a producer, Ioni? <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I was a producer for a VTuber for 30 days. Whoa! I'll have to see more on your resume for that. <laughs> she might have gotten an anxiety on tw day 25. Uh-huh. He ought to have been thanking me on bended knee for my godly vocals, that old witch. I hope she falls down a flight of stairs that would serve her right. That's it, that's the joke? The joke... The joke's flying over my head, Ioni. Should I encourage her cruelty? <laughs> I don't like Miss Uchiyama very much either. Okay. <laughs> she used to bug me about playing music too loudly too. And she always gets on my case about recycling. 
Who cares if I mix up the burnable and non-burnable trash? It's so petty. Well, that's kind of a big deal. I agree. When I take over the world, that woman will be the very first I will subjugate. Bad enough talk. I didn't come here to complain about that woman. I would much rather start singing. I think that would be a far superior use of my time. It's getting pretty late. I guess it's time to call it a day. I wonder what will await me tomorrow. I can't wait to find out. Alright. Make a save here. Do we get to see the stats? Okay. Her stress is going up a bit. She needs more charm. And I need to raise my affection. It's another brand new morning. Um... Oh, one second. Okay. Um... Her stress isn't too high. Let's have her hand up flyers. Hang out at a cafe. And... Karaoke's relaxing, but I don't know if she can keep doing that. I think surfing the net would be good for research. Okay. Hand up flyers, hang out at the cafe, surf the net. Alright, let's see what that does. Alright, now that I've gotten some flyers printed out, we should be able to spread the word about your very first concert. If we hand these around, I'm sure we'll get a lot of interest. Oh, were you planning to hold a concert for me, producer? Of course! You can't be an idol if you're not gonna put, out and put on a concert. What are we doing today? We're doing all this. I only have two weeks to get everything prepared, so I'm gonna do my very best. I thought that I could put on a bit of a show on the beach, with a make a big shift stage. And some speakers I borrowed. Or stolen. From my old workplace a while back. Flyers, what else? Indeed. There's no point putting on a concert if nobody knows that you'll be performing, though. Gorilla lives are all well and good, but they're only effective if the idols performing already have star power. Oh, you're AFK! I didn't know that, my bad. You're an unknown, so you've got to put in some real legwork to get your name out there. That's why I whipped up these flyers. What? No, you don't! <laughs> Wait, I'm not! I'm not being a smart butt. What? I don't know, you didn't tell me that you were going out somewhere. <laughs> I don't know! I, was like, I can't believe the accusations! Jeez! I'm not being a smart butt. Okay. <laughs> okay. I understand now. I'm sorry. So what do you think? Isn't that smart of me? Well... Speechless, are you? I knew it! In a sense, I guess. Hehe. <laughs> well, that's fine. It stands to reason. I don't mean to boast, but I am something of an artiste. That's why Karen begged me to work with her. Actually, she didn't beg. She asked. And she only asked because she felt indebted. What? Cuckoo doesn't know won't hurt her. Uh oh, getting vertigo? Oh no. Take care of yourself, Ioni. I have a real eye for this sort of thing. I'm not just a talented producer. I'm also great at graphic design. It really is my passion. You say that, but... Oh gosh, you guys show me. Oh no! The creature that you brought on these papers. That isn't supposed to be me, is it? Well, yes, of course it is. I think I captured your likeness perfectly. 
Don't you think you look adorable? I'm not so sure. I don't know if handing these out will help very much. Oh, Cuckoo, don't tell me you're getting cold feet now. You aren't scared of interacting with the public, are you? You have to get out in the public eye. No matter how stressed it might make you feel, if you want to improve your people skills. You'll never be able to increase your charm otherwise. Uh, of course I'm not afraid. I'm a powerful old one. You foolish humans ought to be afraid of me. I have no qualms with handing out these flyers of yours. But I do have a few objections as to how you portrayed me in those flyers. That thing that you've drawn... It's much, much, MUCH scarier than anything I could have ever come up with! Well... <laughs> well... So, what do you think about this place? Do you think it's cozy? Hmm, I suppose it is, yes. It's rather nice in here. It is quiet and peaceful. It makes for quite a change with the bustling streets. What sort of establishment is this? Don't you know? I figured the sign outside would have given the game away, but maybe not. Does she really not know what this place is? She's even more sheltered than I thought. She, she's she been literally been sleeping for hundreds of years. This is a cafe. Cute waitresses serve you food and drinks. And you can kick back and enjoy the atmosphere. The waitresses are all very charming. You might be able to learn a little about... Hospitality if you hang out around here. And you can relax while you're at it. This place is great! And I was also hoping if we spend more time together, she might become a little more affectionate too. Hmm, I suppose that does make sense. I did think that this place was rather soothing. Though I do not understand why the woman who greeted us was wearing such a frilly outfit. The employees here aren't idols themselves, are they? Now that's a good question. I guess you do have a point. Maids are objects of worship in a sense. Oh, so this is a maid cafe. <laughs> well then. You get to look at them, but you're not supposed to touch them. And they are, of course, very cute. Yes. Yes, maids are very cute. Some people have whole shrines devoted to maids. But maids aren't... Idols in the traditional sense. They don't sing or dance. Um, for the most part. Okay, that's good. Oh no! That's not good that yours expired. Hopefully she comes back very soon. Take it easy. Does that mean some maids do sing and dance then? In some cafes, sure. In Akihabara. It's in an Akihabara though. And this cafe is more relaxed. Gotta take an extra 30 minutes, so take your time. Okay, sounds good. Take longer if you need to. Do I sing and dance? Of course I do. Ready? Are you ready? <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> Wait a minute, I should be zooming out. I'm not getting copy struck. No. I'm not that good. Ready? Ready? Twinkle, twinkle, little star! <laughs> all <laughs> that's all <laughs> I will not be doing that again <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no I'm not going to get copy struck no <laughs> Ugh. 
The maids just call you master or mistress and they take your orders. Sometimes I'll put cute messages on your omelette rice. Or enchant your sundaes so they're even more delicious. Oh, that's okay. Here, I'll make a note for us. Uh, note. Make a note for myself. Okay. Or enchant your sundae so that they're even more delicious. Unless you're bochi. But they don't sing for you unless you're, it's your birthday. My my, how interesting. It seems the humans of this era have devised any number of curious pastimes who have wished to entertain themselves. I can see now why my following decreased so rapidly during the long years that I slumbered. They must have forgotten all about me and lieu of the a fancy- Oh my gosh, I can't read. In lieu of visiting these fancy maid cafes. There is no shortage of diversions in the 21st century. I know, right? That's the best part about being a human. There's always so much to do, I'm never bored. That would be nice if I had enough money to experience everything I want. <laughs> now, since we're here, why don't you try ordering something? It's a hot day, so something having something to drink might help. <sighs> you raise a good point. I am feeling somewhat parched. But there are simply too many drinks listed on this menu. It is difficult for me to wrap my head around all of them. I'm not sure what I want. So, would you mind giving me some suggestions? Of course! I'm glad you trust me enough to ask, hee <laughs> hee. Now let me see. What would a cute young girl like Kuku want to drink? A strawberry milkshake, an ice cream float, soda, fruit tea, or coffee. I'm feeling all- I'm feeling the ice- strawberry milkshake. Strawberries, hmm? I have never tried those before. Oh, it's too late, Ioni. <laughs> it's too late, I made the call. But there are many, many beverages that I have yet to try. I am sure this will be an instructive experience. Thank you for your help, producer. It's appreciated. Oh my gosh, she's wearing... Pajamas. Hey, producer. I'm curious. What's that box over there? Is it a cursed object or a portal to another dimension? What? Oh no, that's just my PC. P C. Yes. Um, you can use it to access the internet. Internet. The internet is um. How do I explain the internet? <laughs> I hardly know how it works myself. I feel the same way. I used to be able, like, when you know, when the internet was still, like, starting out, it was easier to explain. Now, it's like, how do you even explain the internet to someone who doesn't know what it is? It's a global network. By breaking into song, the Bo Burnham song. I know it's not magic, but it might as well be. If Karen was here, she'd do a good job explaining. But I'm not smart like she is. Or Bo Burnham. I guess I'll have to wing it. It's like a huge library full of information. You can look up stuff in search engines like this. Ooh. And I'll pull up all sorts of different websites. These websites can tell you more about the thing you search. And since there are lots and lots of websites, there's a lot you can learn. It's pretty cool. You want to try searching for something? Oh yes, that sounds like fun. They didn't have anything like this in Relia. Really All they had were ruins and water. And a few anglerfish. Anglerfish? What sort of place does Cuckoo come from? I've never heard of Relia really before. It sounds kind of backwater. Maybe it's in the Aomori Prefecture. Can I search for absolutely anything, producer? Anything you want. Alright then. Hmm. There's still a lot I want to learn about the world. Yep. 
She was definitely brought up in the boonies. I'm surprised she doesn't know what a computer is. Was she brought up under a rock? No, we literally know that she's super old. I think I'd like to look up some photographs of drowning victims first. Ah oh, yes, that's a pretty normal thing for teenage girls to be into. <laughs> yes, yes, Kuro? Yes? If you want to look up images, first you need to... Wait, what? Hmm, did I say something wrong, producer? It's not that you said something wrong, exactly, but, uh... Why do you want to look up photographs of drowning victims? Well, why not? I think it's really funny when you humans think that you can conquer the waves, only to become fish food. It shows that pride really does come before a fall. Or in this case, a thinking! A few dead bodies sometimes drifted down into relay. And they always gave me a good laugh. <laughs> that never ever failed to put me into a good mood. Hee -hee. Same cuckoo. I didn't know how to use a phone, nor did I have one till I was in love with grade. Linda oh, noticed 60 year old man. <laughs> She's Cthulhu. Right. Either this girl is really committed to the bit, or she has a few screws loose, or Almora Prefecture is even more boring than I realized. You're not that old. I'm a 97 kid? What on earth? Just wasn't a phone person. <laughs> Maybe you're destined to turn into a psychopath if you live out in the middle of nowhere like that. Uh, well, uh, I get that we all have different tastes, but I don't know if I really want to look at pictures of dead people. <laughs> the girl feels so validated. Hush, Karen. Lindo is younger than both of us. That's that's wild. Hey, you don't? Not really. I don't want it in my search history. Can we look at something nice instead? Like pictures of axolotls? Ugh, they're cute, I guess. But they're not as entertaining as photographs of drowning humans. Wow, I think I just felt a chill go down my spine. This is your PC, though, so I guess you're the boss. No comment. I'll do what you want for now. I'm 20 something years old. That's all you gotta know, Linda. It's in the lore. You meanie. It's getting pretty late. I guess it's time to call the day. I wonder what will await me tomorrow. I can't wait to find out. I'm 20 something and vampire years. Yes, exactly. It's another brand new morning. Alright. She's. She is middle stressed. <laughs> wait, you can't even see the stats. I just realized that. You can kind of see it. Uh, well, you can. You see the important part. The right side just says out of 100. It doesn't matter, y'all still my good friends. Yay! Um... Just makes a new slave save slot for every day. Um... I think sleeping in would just reduce her stress. Jogging increases her dancing. Her stamina. Flyers, hands up, or increases charm. Well, you should just try all the other options and see what they do. Hmm. Huh. 
<laughs> Cuckoo must be tired. She must, she's out cold. She looks so cozy. It's almost, it'd almost be a shrimp to disturb her. But we do have a lot of work to do. You think reading manga will increase her charm? That makes sense. Maybe I should try to wake her up. Um, I'll call out to her. Cuckoo. Hey, Cuckoo. <sighs> Cuckoo. Nerdy idols are cute. Indeed. Hey, Cuckoo. Wait! Google, stop that! The heck? Sorry, I'm going Google heard me talk. And he heard me say cuckoo. And then... Google said maybe. I do just sit here all day waiting to hear two specific words. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Google. I'm sure you do. It's no good. She's out cold. Calling to her isn't working, so I guess I'll leave her. If I don't let her sleep in every once in a while, she'll get, she'll get stressed. Oh, we can just keep the stats up on, this, on the right so we can see how much it does. This should be a good way to relax her. If I let her skip out on exercising in the morning, it might have a negative impact on her other skills. Ah! Well, I brought down her stress by almost like 10. To, or by 10. So that's good. We can always pick up the pace later, though. For now, at least. <sighs> kind of nice just watching her. Stop being a creep, Leah. <laughs> Stop doing that. Stop it. Stop being a creep. Right. This should be as good as, good a place as any. I think we should be able to get down to business now. Business? Forgive me my, for my ignorance. What do you mean, producer? Why did you bring me to the park? You don't want to go hunting for insects, do you? I heard it's a common occupation for Japanese youths. <laughs> yeah, I like how you're telling yourself to not be a creep. The Leah in the game is not representative of my views or opinions. <laughs> Thanks, but I'm not actually that young, hee <laughs> hee. Compared to me, you are. I am an old one after all. I had heard, yeah. But I'm not looking for insects today. There are more important matters at hand. You want to become an idol, right? Right! You want it more than anything, don't you? Well, of course. Good! I like that enthusiasm. But you're still lacking in experience. That's why I brought you out here. You're a good singer, but you need more practice in front of an audience. This park is pretty popular, so you should get quite the crowd if you busk around here. Everything Leah says on stream is up to scrutiny. It really is! I can't say one thing! Or Ioni will, uh, will, will roast me over an open fire. That way, you'll get used to performing in front of other people. It'll be a great way to improve your singing and your charm. Oh, busking is really good then. It might be a little stressful, but the benefits should outweigh the losses. Yeah, so it increases singing and charm, but brings up stress by 10. This is true. Ooh, I see. That is rather smart thinking, producer. It seems like you're not completely useless after all. I like your idea. So I'm going to sing my heart out. Let's give this a go. Night. Just gotta keep those stats there now. Oh, wow. You have a lot of books, producer. You must be quite the intellectual. Your shelves are positively groaning with arcane tomes. Arcane tomes? I guess that's one way of describing my collection. But she might be mistaken here. Oh, um, I'm actually not a big reader. 
then what are all these books for? They're not regular books. They're uh, actually manga. Manga? Actually, I should, I should say like manga. Yeah, they have a lot of pictures and they're pretty cool. I like manga more than proper books, but um, I hope you don't mind that. Oh no, these books are very interesting. I've not seen anything like them before. Why would I mind? Karen always told me my tastes were childish. She's into serious literature, like sad Russian authors. <laughs> With long names I can't pronounce. I tried reading some of her books, but my eyes glazed over. I didn't get it at all. Hmm. You sound per perturbed about that. Did Karen upset you? I still cry about it every day. Uh, you like normal books too, but you like manga better. I like... I don't know. I used to like manga more. Now I don't really read. <laughs> but I guess I'm more into like visual novels. Which is like manga, but not really. Uh, it didn't at the time, but it's a while ago. A while ago, hmm? Yeah, we must have had this conversation back in high school. It's not a big deal. I've moved on since then. I'm interested why the game includes, like, this dialogue about Karen. Like, is there, like, a secret Karen ending, maybe? Well, good. It would be unfortunate if you were still thinking of another woman while you have me. That would be treason, and I wouldn't allow it. Oh, okay. I'm too cute to play second fiddle to another girl. Now, to business. I think these books of yours look interesting. Karen really do become wifey? I hope so. Would you mind if I read some of this manga? I want to learn even more about the human world, so I can better understand you humans. Then, it should be easier to conquer you. I still don't get what she means about conquering us, but... Sure, I'm more than happy to share my collection of you. I have a lot of different series, but this one might appeal to you. It's about idols. There's a bit, bit of romance too. It's a lot of fun. Reading manga always helps me relax after a stressful day too. Though it might have turned me into a bit of an otaku. I wonder if the same thing would happen to Cuckoo. What? It, 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 we can have Cuckoo Otaku ending, maybe? Oh, wait, I don't see a history option. Alright. Oh, that sounds perfect. I can't wait to dig my tentacles into this. Girl, why'd you say it like that? <laughs> Girl, why'd you say it like that? <laughs> Thank you, producer. You're the best. It's getting pretty late. I guess it's time to call it a day. I wonder what we'll meet tomorrow. Can't wait to find out. Okay, so sleeping in, sleeping in seems to reduce stress the most, but sleeping also can be detrimental to her other stats. So we shouldn't sleep in too much unless her stress is really high. Um, busking. Busking increases both singing and charm. But it increases stress by like 10. So it's very stressful. Oh! But it seems like hanging out at the cafe is the only way to like increase my affection of her. Kugu is unhinged. <laughs> but we've, we've experienced all the different events, so I don't think there should be any more dialogue. Maybe. Um... Her dancing is good, so we're gonna work on her charm. And then we'll have her relax and increase charm. What was the bonus of surfing the net? I can't remember. I go to Cairo, okay. Let's try that. I'd like to finish at least one playthrough. 
<laughs> I'd like to finish at least one playthrough before Ioni streams. Oh, there is more dialogue. Holy cow, this game, <laughs> this game has so much dialogue. I guess I'd better hand more of these suckers out, huh? Let's see if I can give out all these hand these flyers by lunchtime. <laughs> Thank you for the hydrate. Cuckoo looks like she's full of energy. I'm not gonna let her beat me. Okay, her stress is 56. Oh, posture check? Okay. Thank you for the posture check. My feet are on the ground. <laughs> my, my. It would appear that your ribbon is askew, Chiaki. Huh, huh? It is? Yes, indeed. You must have not fastened it properly when you were dressing after PE. Please, allow me to aid you. Do, do schools talk like this? Uh, oh, no, big sister. I couldn't possibly ask you to do that. I don't want you to go out of your way for me. It is no effort whatsoever. Please, do not worry. I am only too happy to care for you. Nothing in this world gives me greater joy, in fact. My adorable Chiaki. Ch Chizuru. <laughs> what is this? What is this Yuri happening over here? Hey, producer, what are those two girls doing? The older one has been fussing over that little one for the last five minutes. This isn't some complicated human human mating ritual, is it? <laughs> well, I guess you could say that. Huh? Does that mean that those two girls are in a relationship? Well, I don't want to pry, but they do look very close. It's obvious they're good friends, if nothing else. Oh, jeez! Whoa! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! What are you doing, Chizu? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> what are you doing? What are you guys doing over there? Oh my god! Oh, they're just rubbing cheeks. Okay. Uh. <laughs> whoa! Hi, Hud Butler. <laughs> They're just rubbing cheeks, you know? Oh, wait, why am I getting plumped twice? Whoa! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's so incredibly huggable. Uh, Alright, maybe those two are more than just friends. They're being surprisingly touchy-feely. Given they go to that prestigious, prestigious all-girls school up on the hill. I reckon those uniforms. Well, never mind them. Let's not stare. It's, it isn't a plight. Right. I understand. I do not want to be rude, but... Hmm. Cuckoo? What is she thinking about? I've never had any reason to feel jealous of your humans before, but having a close relationship like that... Might not be so bad. Wait, why are you blushing, girl? Okay. Cuckoo wants to be in a relationship. Before I start singing, I should do some warm ups first. La 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 la. Okay, it's much shorter. Whew. Okay, guys, we ballin'. We ballin', guys. Alright. So right now... Our stress is still okay. Um, I want her to go jogging. <laughs> you scared Lindo, head butler. How could you? I want her to busk. And then... I can't remember what surfing the internet does. I think that's also relaxing. Maybe. Oh! <laughs> I, I scared Lindo. Sorry. My apologies. Feels a little too early to work out. 
part of me resents you for this producer. Oh no, it actually brought my perfection down. But whatever. I'll still do my best. I won't let anything get the better of me. Holy cow, that brought me down by three. <laughs> well, the way they were saying things felt not Twitch friendly. So that's why I wasn't reading it. La 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 la. Cuckoo is busking today. A few people are stopping by to listen. Keep it up, Cuckoo. You're doing great. Oh my gosh, Cuckoo's stress is going up. Hey, producer. Won't you let me use the search function of your PC again? I want to look up some photos of drowned corpses now. I think that'll help reduce my stress by at least... Hmm, maybe 20 whole points. I don't know what you mean by points. And I wish she didn't love waterlogged corpses so much. But you can do more things on the internet than look up images, you know? You can? That's right. You can also use the internet to chat to people. Or watch videos. You can also use it to play video games. Video games? Yeah, I play a few myself. I've been playing this one MMORPG that's really good. Oh, MMO. MMO. And MMO is a... Ah, oh, jeez. How to explain it? If Cuckoo doesn't know what a video game is, there's no way she'll know what an MMORPG is. There probably isn't any point explaining it to her. It'd be easier to show her instead. The MMORPGs can be pretty addictive. I don't want it getting in the way of her career. What should I do? Mm. I don't want her to become a neat. Alright? Alright guys, chat, listen. We're not making Cuckoo a neat. So what should we do? Should we play a rhythm game? A gacha game? A dating sim? Or a horror game? Alright, what do you think? A rhythm game sounds the most appropriate, right? Cause she's an idol. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yes, yep, I'm listening, chat. <laughs> I'm listening, chat. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm That's a good point, yes, mhm. Mm mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Kuro is going for the gacha. You're gonna make my idol spend all her money? You're gonna make her start wailing? Shaking my head. Not my idol. <laughs> Let's see. Also, I wonder what this, like, image is. I keep thinking it looks like a clamshell. But I don't know what it is. A gotcha game. Well, only Crow said something, so we'll, we'll try the gotcha game, alright? Uh-oh. See, this is a lesson. No, I'm not going that, or doing that. Gotcha games are evil. You listen, hear that? You hear that, girl? The last time I got seriously invested in one of those money drains, I would... I would end up flat broke. Yeah, evil! I don't want to scrape by living on instant noodles for the summer. month. Um, producer, are you alright? What? Did I spacing out? Did it look like I wasn't alright? Kind of. Your face certainly turned very pale and you started shaking. <laughs> yeah, Kuro, because not everyone's a businessman like you. Yeah, that sounds like an accurate reaction to the hell that is gotcha gaming. Sorry, I was just reliving something traumatic. Not even? Okay, salary man. I know. Salary man, business man. Um. Maybe we shouldn't play video games after all. Oh no, video games are evil. Everyone stop. Stop watching the stream. <laughs> video games are evil. <laughs> stop, stop, stop looking at that. <laughs> You know what? What? You can look up your photos of drowning victims or whatever if you really want. 
it'll be a better use of your time than playing Tenshi Impact at least. Tenshi Impact. And it'll be a hell of a lot cheaper. <laughs> yes, Ioni. You want to have dinner? What did you have for dinner? Alright, her affection for me went down. But her stats are all at 30, which is great. Rice and peas of roasted chicken. Ooh, that sounds good. Plays Pokemon. Of course I'll stop playing games. <laughs> okay, girl need girl's a little stressed. Girl's a little stressed. So we'll have her sleep in. Uh we'll hang out at a cafe. And we'll do karaoke. Nice, you took your vertical meds. I hope those kick in very soon. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Is she having a nightmare? She's tossing and turning a lot. I hope she's alright. That only brought down her stress by six. But her singing went down so much. Talking helps with stress. The fact that they're saying it's stressful is a lie. This is true. I guess it's stressful because she's jogging on the beach and it's hot. <laughs> <sighs> Nothing's really a catching my attention. I guess I'm not in the mood. Uh-oh. Cuckoo's not having a good day today. Before I start singing, I should do some warm-ups. Okay, we already did that. How are we doing? I feel like we got nothing accomplished today. <laughs> I feel like we got nothing... <laughs> we're, we're like, we actually started today almost where we started. Or ended today where we started. Her stress is a little bit down, which is good. It went down by like 10. Her affection went up a little bit, but her stats are like all the same. <laughs> I guess I guess I guess I'll take that. I don't even know what surfing the net does, stats wise. I think I missed it when they talked about it. Alright, day seven guys. Woohoo, day seven, woo! -hoo. Um, I'll have her hand out flyers. Uh, I'll have her busk and read manga. She can't read too much manga or she becomes an otaku. All right, guys. But she can have a little mango as a treat. Okay, a little mango. Alright, alright, it's a nice sunny morning, so we should use it to its fullest. There should be a lot of people wandering the streets right now, so we should get out there and start handing out flyers. They won't distribute themselves. Wait a moment, pretty sir. Huh? What is it? Is Cuckoo still sleepy? It is pretty early in the morning. But she's already gotten dressed. Hope I'm not being too pushy. Handing out flyers is a good idea, but we're not been having much success with them. People haven't been paying your flyers much attention. And I think I know why. Why? Well, how do I put this? I don't want to be too blunt and crush your fragile human ego, but... These flyers are awful. Awful? So much for sparing my fragile human ego. But, but I worked so hard on them. I understand that, and I appreciate the effort you've put in. But your artistic skills aren't up to snuff. This... Thing on the flyers looks nothing like me. It's an abomination. I think this is more likely to scare people, not endear them to me. As an old one who comes from the darkest depths of the ocean, I don't mind instilling terror into the hearts of you humans. But I'm trying to be an idol now. I need to appeal to you humans, not appall you. I don't want people to know I'm an old one until it's too late and they've already fallen for my charms. So, I think these flyers need some reworking. Do you mind? Well, if you're sure. Though, I thought my art looked pretty cute myself. So, what do you think? Is this an improvement? Oh my god! 
cute! That's so much cuter than what we made. I don't want to admit it after she made fun of my artwork, but that is pretty good. Cuckoo really is better at this than I am. I guess I can't compete with the unbridled creativity of youth or oldness. Am I getting old? Producer! Hey, producer! Earth to producer! Life can be so unforgiving sometimes. <laughs> La 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 la. Yeah. <laughs> she think my artist was up to snuff. That's exactly what she was saying. Oh no, Cuckoo's. Maybe Cuckoo's throat is getting dry because she's been singing for so long. Have I been pushing her too hard? Oh no, her stress is high. Uh oh. Ring 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 the bell. Ring the bells. Ring 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 ring. Ring 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 ring. I'm I'm pushing up idle too hard. Ring 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 ring. ring. <laughs> hey, producer! What is it, Cuckoo? I've read all the idol series you gave me already. It looks pretty good. I like how cheerful the main character was, and how she was so determined to accomplish her goals. Even if there wasn't as much mutilation as I'd like. Girl? Thank you, Lindo. Although I feel like I haven't drawn for a while. <laughs> no bad. The story was lacking in blood, guts, and dismemberment. There wasn't nearly enough suffering. The writer really dropped the ball. Okay, I get I get what kind of manga she wants to read. While it is an idol series, they tend to be pretty light and sweet. You shouldn't have gone into it expecting blood and gore. And why does she like blood and gore so much? I guess she must love horror. <laughs> this also sounds like a combo between me and Leah. You won't think it to look at her. But looks can be deceiving. I know, I know. It wasn't the series I hoped it would be. But it was still rather interesting. The story had a lot of twists and turns. I kept me engaged. The writer was a bit of a coward. So they didn't go all in. But I would like to read even more manga. Do you have any suggestions? Suggestions, huh? Let me see. Um... <laughs> More like you and Kuro. Yeah, I don't read manga. I should probably recommend horror to her. Uh, yeah, why not? Ooh, if I read more horror stories, will I be able to see people with their insides torn out? That's right! And their limbs hideously mangled? Yes. And your flesh seared off their bones? You've got it. And your fingernails torn out? Absolutely. <laughs> and your toast not stubbed on the edge of a coffee table? Oh no, not the coffee, not the toast stub. Of course you. <gasps> oh no. Wait, scratch that. That last one is a little too sadistic. <laughs> you monster. Oops, my inner old one must be coming out again. Hee <laughs> hee. Please forgive me if I said anything too diabolical. As you should very well know, I'm just an ordinary high school student. But sometimes my enthusiasm gets the better of me. Well, of course you're a normal student. What else would you be? What else indeed? It would be silly to take me for anything else. Hee <laughs> hee. Ha 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 ha. That's right. Now how about this? This particular horror manga is so scary, it should keep you up all night. Oh, I doubt that. I am the great dreamer, after all. But thank you. I'll take good care of this important text. It looks like I'll have a lot of fun tonight. Oof, 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 oof. Cuckoo doesn't need Jesus. She is a god. <laughs> Leah's suggesting Unjunji Ito. Okay, my girl's getting stressed, so I need to calm her down, alright? It's affecting her stats. She gets to sleep in. Hang out at the cafe. And go to karaoke, okay? I can't have her become an otaku, alright?
I guess that probably happens when she's really stressed out, so she can't really sleep well. No, Cuckoo's not- Cuckoo's too stressed! Okay, so if she's too- if her stress is too high, she doesn't really enjoy herself when she's relaxing. That makes sense. This makes sense. Hmm, I can't really catch, see anything that's catching my fancy. Oh well, I guess I can settle for this. She might want to grind. Okay. Yeah. I'll let her sleep in. Practice dancing. And go to karaoke. No, but her stress is too high. Can you handle high flyers? Her stress will go down, but her stress goes down more. Hmm. Alright, let's just try this, okay? Let's try this. And if it doesn't work out like I want it to, then we'll just redo the day. Dang, her charm took a hit. Okay, but we'll go to the cafe, which increases her charm. Oh, okay. She's she's more cheerful at the cafe. That's good. Because her stress is down. Good. Look how much her stats go up when she's happy. Look at this. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! <laughs> okay, we need to work on her charm. So, hand out flyers. Practice dancing. Surf the net? How much does surfing the net do? This game's hard. <laughs> this game's hard. Yeah, when her when her stress isn't too high, her stats go up more. But if she's really stressed, her stats don't go up as high. This dance is pretty hard to master. The steps are so tricky. But I think I'm finally getting the hang of it. That's right, Cuckoo. Do your best. You're doing a good job. At a time like this, it'd be nice if I had some glow sticks I could wave around. But since I don't, I'll just settle for some good old-fashioned verbal encouragement. Yeah, go, Cuckoo. You can do it. Aim for the ace. You're amazing. Everybody knows that the K in Cuckoo stands for cute. Cute doesn't start with K, though. Maybe not, but Kawaii does. Oh, whatever. Why are you making so much noise anyway? It's difficult to concentrate when you keep shrieking like that. Oh, was I shrieking? You were, quite a lot. It was very distracting. <laughs> Sorry, Cuckoo. I was trying to cheer you on. I thought launching into a cheerleader routine may help. But maybe it was not as effective as I hoped. I wonder if I should, if I should jig out my cheerleader outfit next time. Oh, maybe I should get some pom-poms. You have a cheerleader outfit? Of course I do. How else I would be able to cheer my cute idols on? I thought the idols were supposed to dress up in cute outfits, though. Not their producer. 
Hell yeah, that's usually how it goes. But there's nothing stopping me from dressing up either. I think it's fun. The cheerleader outfit is only the tip of the iceberg. I also have a sexy police outfit, a nun outfit, and a nurse outfit. Leah? Oh, and I can't forget the maid outfit. Of course, that's a staple, hee <laughs> hee. Okay, okay. Leah's good, actually. All cosplay lovers have got gotta have at least one of those in their wardrobe. But since I like maids, I have a half a dozen of them. Dedicated! Wow, I did not know about, the, about you. Are these outfits for your idols to wear, or...? They're in my house, so naturally they're all mine. It's fun to dress up every once in a while, hee <laughs> hee. Who do you dress up for, though? As far as I've gathered... You don't have any friends! <laughs> Nobody has been around since I moved in, after all. Uh... <laughs> well, I used to dress up for Karen. I dress up for myself. Self-satisfaction is important, I suppose. But aren't all of these silly outfits a drain on your finances? It's an expensive hobby, yeah. But it's fine as long, so long as I'm having fun. I think you have a little too much fun. You're so laissez-faire. I don't want to end up being a useless person like you. Dancing! I know you keep on dancing. You can cheer me on if you like, but try not to get in my way again. Otherwise, I'll be upset with you. This girl goes for my throat. I don't know. Huh, is it just me or all, are all people online all really annoying? Believe me, it's not just you. There's a lot of irritating people out there. But it doesn't look like Cuckoo's enjoying herself. Maybe she, she, she should log off for the night. It's getting pretty late. I guess it's time to call it a day. Uh oh, she's stressed out again. She's stressed out again, but I can't let her sleep in. Um. Let's try this. Ugh. I don't know why, but I'm really not feeling it today. Let's try and get this done as soon as possible. Yeah, she's stressed. Girl is stressed. <gasps> I'm I'm goofing! I'm goofing! No! Cuckoo, I'm so sorry! I pushed you too hard! Oh, I'm the worst producer ever! I keep bringing her to the cafe because it helps relax her. No, but Ioni, if she's too stressed, like if I do like a busking, increases her stress by 10, for example. So I can't bring her to busk. No, I'm not grinding. Because she will kill me. She will kill me if she's stressed. Ugh, I can't believe the author and decided to end up fast volume that way. It's so unsatisfying. It was obvious they were going to kiss. Until that jerk got in the way. What's that guy even doing in a romance story like this like anyway? He's stealing important screen time, which could be used for the development of the two hero heroines. They're much, much more important than he is. Well, Ioni, you can play the game. Okay? <laughs> if you... Want to stress out your Cthulhu idol? Go ahead. You do that. <laughs> and then you can explode. Alright? Yeah. <laughs> Two Eldritch Idol streams in one? <laughs> hmm, there's something wrong, Cuckoo? I know, you. I, I'm looking forward to watching you fly your planes. She sounds pretty lively. Oh, producer, my apologies if I was being too loud. It's fine, I guess. You don't need to apologize to me. Miss Uchiyama is the one you should be worried about. What's gotten you so riled up? Aren't you enjoying that manga you're reading? 
I was enjoying it just fine. At least until this loser decided to appear and ruin this incredibly cute confession scene. If the vertical machine doesn't destroy my machine, your bird. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. That was a weird hiccup. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ah, uh, if the vertical machine doesn't destroy your brain. Oh no! Vertical medicine! Oh! How our girl doing? Had to grab a drink. Our girl's stressed. And I only want to stress her out more by grinding. And I was like, if she keeps grinding more and getting more stressed, she'll explode and kill me. I don't want to be killed. I don't know why this series even has any male characters in it. It's supposed to be a Yuri story. Who wants to read about men in Yuri stories? They just get in the way. That's unexpected. I didn't know you were interested in Yuri stories. I always thought she was more interested in blood and guts, not romance. I didn't think I was interested either. But those two girls we saw at the cafe made me curious. They were so close. It was like they existed inside their own little world. They were completely oblivious to their surroundings. At first, I thought they were obnoxious. But then I began to wonder. As an old one, I never had a relationship like that with anybody before. I've never really had a chance, given I spent so many centuries sleeping at the bottom of the ocean. I thought it was fine for things to say like that, but now you assumed a human form. I don't know. Part of me wants to know what it would be like to experience a relationship like that. It would be a waste for this body, and a waste of an opportunity not to do so. And I wouldn't mind if a girl adjusted my ribbons. Having a cool, reliable older sister doesn't sound too bad. I'm sure they'd be much better company than Haster, at least. Ah. Wow, this might be ma my imagination. It almost seems like she's pining. She's acting like a fair maiden in love. But that can't be right. She doesn't, as far as I know, have anybody that she's in love with. Maybe she's sad because she grew up so sheltered. I don't fully understand her history, but it sounds like she had a pretty rough, t pretty tough childhood. I don't want to pry, but I would like to comfort her. I'm sure you'll find a big sister someday. You really think so? I'm not so certain myself. But thank you, producer. That does make you feel a little better. Even if I am annoyed that this pure lovely Yuri story was hijacked. It's getting pretty late. I guess it's time to call it a day. I don't really me tomorrow. Oh, guys. My girl is stressed. My girl is stressed. <sighs> she can't even enjoy her relaxing. Clap, we, gr we clap, grind, clap. Um... I'll sleep in. I always gotta be turning over. <laughs> then we busk. We'll sleep in, we busk. And then... The increases singing and charm. And go to karaoke. Why not sleep in, dance in karaoke? We could do that. Okay, let's try that. Okay, she's having stressed out dreams again. It brought down her her stress a bit. It brought down her singing. That's okay. Uh oh, she's having a difficult time. But her dancing went up pretty well. That's good. And then we do some karaoke. Oh, my girl's stressed. My girl's stressed. Oh. I 
I gotta sleep in again. <laughs> Her stress is very close to 100. Let's do this. You jog cafe karaoke? Uh. Oh god, her singing! Oh! I know, look at her stress. Oh god, stress 91. I'm killing her! I'm killing her! I'm killing her! <laughs> ah! My girl! This is so hard! Everything's falling apart. Her affection for me is very low. Understandably. This is the last day. Alright, we just need to not hit... ...a hundred stress. Alright? All right. Um, her singing's low, so I need her to sing. Oh. And she's going to kill me. I feel like it. Her affection went way down with me, too. <laughs> oh. Okay. Alright, guys. It was an honor to be your wolf dog main. Cuckoo's been looking pretty rough all morning. She hasn't woken up yet, but she's tossing and turning a lot. Her face is pale and it looks like her hair her looks like it's drooping. I wonder if she's sick. Did I push her too much? Maybe this happened because I let her get too stressed. Yeah, her stats dropped because she got too stressed out! I don't want to bother her when she's like this. So I'll let her sleep for the rest of the day. Hopefully that should help. Oh! Oh! Hold on, y'all. Oh! My name is Kululu, but you can call me Cuckoo. I'm a great old one with the heart of a schoolgirl, and I've been working tirelessly for the last two weeks to debut as an idol. See, Ioni? This is what happens to you when you grind. Alright? You just get her super stressed. But you lose a whole day. It took a lot of sweat, blood, and tears, but I've finally been able to take to the stage. My producer helped me prepare this concert, and I couldn't be happier with how things turned out. It's so gratifying to see my so many of you on this lovely night. Um, not. Producer! Yes? What in the name of Shub Nigaroth is going on? I've been working tirelessly for my debut, but hardly anybody is here. Uh, I, I know, I can see that. I did try to publicize their first concert, but... But nothing. This is a nightmare. No, worse than that, it's an embarrassment. I can hardly believe how low the turnout is. It's almost as if you've been trying to sabotage me. You haven't been organizing my schedule in a w such a way to make me fail, have you? What? Of course not. Don't be absurd. I'm your producer, Cuckoo. I have your best interests at heart. I really have been trying, but... I already said, but nothing. I'm too disheartened to listen to your excuses. You have proven yourself to be an incompetent, bubbling ingrate. Ingrit. I have no further use for you, nor for your kind in general. I'm tired of humans. If they cannot recognize my genius, then they do not deserve to exist. Now listen to me. The handful of pitiful squirming worms that have shown up today shall be the very first to hear of this decree. I might be a great old one, but my heart is that of a maiden's. It is easily trampled, and your cruel indifference has crushed it. 
I no longer wish to appeal to you. So, I shall annihilate you. If only you had all worshipped me, like the good mindless masses that you are. This could have been avoided. But you have failed. You have let me down. So now I will make you all drown. Just try and ignore me now! What downloading this game as we watch Kalina get murdered? We're dead. We're so dead. Huh? What's going on? I, I thought this girl was putting on a concert. She's some part of... Is she part of some weird cult or something? There's no way she can drown us all. Can she? Why is the ground shaking? The sea is turning. It's starting to rain. H hey, Cuckoo, what are you? Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! Eek! This is no good. The weather's going berserk. That tidal wave must have at least been 50, no, 60, 70 feet tall? Oh my gosh, Fox, hi! Yes, we are indeed getting blown up. We're getting the worst ending, I think. Well, maybe not worst, but definitely a bad ending. This can't be natural. This can't, this is impossible, but Cuckoo. It looks like she really does mean to end the world. I don't know how she became so powerful. But there's no point worrying about it now. We're all going to die. And there's nothing I can do about it. Ending 24, close down. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. Well. That was Eldritch Idol. <laughs> that was Eldritch Idol, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I spent two hours playing on my first playthrough, and we all died. Woohoo! Yahoo! <laughs> Found my place to get my hands not screwed up. Needy streamer too. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ioni, how much longer do you need to start stream? I can't believe it. Oh my god, I can't believe it. You can start now. Oh, I feel so bad. I did so bad. <laughs> ah, I did so bad. <laughs> Oh, you can start now. Okay. Alright. Oh my goodness. Can't believe it. I did so bad. I'll put you over here. Let's start again sometime. Ah, I want to. But I'm like, also I want to play other Spooktober B and Jam games. So maybe I'll try playing it on my own time and see if I can get a better ending. <laughs> if I can get a better ending, I can showcase it next stream. I did my best. Thank you, Lindo. Thank you for the head pat. Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't have like a sad emotion. Oh! I got rid of myself. Okay. <coughs> I got it's good. I scared myself. <laughs> <laughs> I scared myself. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Alright. Yeah, I don't have a sad emotion. I wish I, I should have got a sad emotion. I just have angry. I'm never angry. Am I? Man! That cuckoo! How does she not appreciate me for everything I've done for her? How dare she? I can't believe it. Cuckoo hates me. I let her down for the last time. You're still the best to us. Thank you, Linda, for your words of encouragement. I appreciate that. Oh. Oh. I can't believe it. Okay, you're up. Okay, thank you. I understand. Okay, everyone. I'll send y'all over to Ioni. Ioni is playing Ace Combat tonight. 
which they say is like uh, anime. So that will be fun. Anime night with planes. So go ahead and go over there and say hi to Ioni when they come back from the restroom. So yeah. <coughs> I can't believe it. I scared myself. I actually pressed the wrong button and unloaded my... Uh, <laughs> I unloaded my menu and scared myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you everyone for watching me struggle with Eldritch Idol. You can see I was not made... Get it? I was not made to be a producer. I am simply just... A wolf dog made. Sometimes that's, that's all you are in life. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a good weekend. I'll see y'all next week with another Spooktober B and Jam game. Um, and then something else. Ah! Thank you for the hydrate. I'll hydrate after <laughs> I send y'all off. And what else was I gonna say? Oh, thank you for the head pat. Head butler. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, I want to play a scary game. At least one scary game before the month ends, because I'm a total scaredy cat. So yeah, well, I'll figure that out. If you have suggestions, feel free to drop them by me. Okay, I'll send you all over to Ioni. Bye everyone, have a good night, thank you for coming!